the yeah. beans. Uh, but this is our third attempt at streaming. Uh, we are celebrating one year of April Fools today. Um, even though I'm taking a small break from GTA right now, um, we can still reminisce in the year of GTA that has been kind of crazy. Just been a, um, just a journey. Um, prior to this, by the way, prior to like joining the server, uh, I had no desire. Like I, I really didn't want to play at all. Uh, 2.0, I was asked to play, and um, I think I was watching and I heard about the like kind of a lot of people playing on it i was watching ashlyn play brenda the receptionist i watched eugene play vader and um pokey play a little bit but i didn't have any interest in joining at all like zero nada nilch it just seemed very out of my comfort zone and something that like why would i i don't know it just seemed like something i wouldn't it doesn't it just seemed hard and scary and like why would i want to do that i don't know so i didn't even think about it and it wasn't until Saikuno and ray like gave it a shot in 3.0 Garrett, well, first of all, Rust was the big, like, deciding thing for me um, in terms of, like, Rust made me realize how much I like going around and meeting random people. So Rust was sort of like a taste of GTA, if that makes sense. Like, for any of those who watched the main Rust, that first Rust server, it was the first time I had ever interacted with so many new people, like, walking around just meeting new Happy people, birthday, and it was giving me, like, a taste of, like, it was the origin of RP, exactly, and, like, without that first Rust server that Abe and John set up, and that, that whole thing becoming, that whole Rust boom, I would never have even considered the idea of, like, joining a bigger Ooh. server of just, like, random people and streamers, Love you, Leslie, less than you know, three. it became the, it became, like, I guess, yeah, the fire, fire Fusley's fantastic fireworks, the whole thing with Officer Space Boy, um, getting to play with like that's when I played with like Hassan and uh, Ray C. I met him there. H June, I met I met so many people through that first Rust server that I don't, and I, and I was so excited about making new friends that that was that f my first taste of it. So then when Garrett messaged me after Rust ended, asking if I wanted to play in three point oh, my first idea was like no, like I no Pixel GTA two, like I don't know what that's I can't role play. You know that's too intense for me but then the idea was like planted in my mind from rust like it did sound it was i was more open to it before than before and then saikuno gave it a shot and i was like oh i i had like okay that sounds fun and then ray giving it a shot seeing how much fun they both had on their first days and i was like okay if, if saikuna and ray both like have are having a good time i'll give it a shot too and so then that led me to one year ago today which is what is the VOD we're watching. Rust was the perfect bridge for streamers and viewers into No Pixel. Exactly. It really was. It's just like, it really, that, like, I could still, I don't have to role play or like the, I think it's the idea of role playing that's very uncomfortable for a lot of people, right? It's like, uh, can be seen as cringy or like weird, like, oh, you're role playing a whole different person. And it's, it's like more effort. Uh, I think it's always easier to just sit back and like play a game like League of Legends or Valorant or something, right? You're just playing the game. Um, whereas something like role playing takes a lot more effort. Um, and it's a little, it's always, it's a bit more, it's out of everyone's comfort zone, right? Um, but Rust was like that happy medium because you could go into it as much as you wanted, like lean into like RPing. And I found myself leaning into the RP. Like, hi, Foosley's Fantastic Fireworks. Like, I don't know. I was still Foosley, whatever. I was still myself. But like, I wanted to like have, I wanted a character and I wanted to have relationships with certain people and like establish that. And I, I think that that was something that was very GTA-esque or, or RP-esque. And then, uh, then, so RP, then it opened and we started and then the, the whole journey and then, yeah. And then I can't even, I mean, you guys have been along for that whole journey of like, of what April's journey was. And it started off very rocky and I didn't have a great like first, I mean, I, I had a good first couple of weeks, but I mean, well, no, I didn't remember even in the first week, I almost got bullied off of the server by the viewers and I learned how to deal with the viewer base and stuff. But, um. But after we kind of just got over that and kept playing, I don't regret coming back to it and like giving it a shot again and again. Um, but yeah, I literally like, yeah, that was rough. That was like a week after this. I think because it was w one week after this stream or a week and a half that we did a Polito for the first time with Kay and Rami and Ray and which was one of the most exciting, exhilarating experiences, gaming experiences I've ever had. Just like that bank was so much fun and honestly i would still like to go back and watch that bank that was so fun 
um just such a crazy experience hiding in the bush for 30 minutes i'll never forget that i will never forget it how exciting that was literally so fun and when Rami and like Kay said it was also like one of the craziest banks they've done, that's when I was like, okay, it's not just because it was our first bank. It was just like, it was also just like a really exhilarating um, bank in general. I wish we could relive the first months of 3.0. I, I wasn't even there for the first three months, but I didn't like seeing the server just kind of go in waves. I really do wish I could go back and like, I mean, I think I, I mean, I try not to have too many regrets about this, but I do like wish I how much I delved into 3.0 in the past couple months. I wish I got to play or I played more in those times. But my anxiety about RP in GTA was too high. I just the viewer base is brutal. Like GTA fans are rabid and horrible. I'm not. They're just awful. Uh, chat hoppers are disastrous. Like they are so I, they're ho they're horrible. Just in general, it sucks. There, I mean, there's a good chunk that understand it, but like the loud, like there's a loud group of them. There's so many of them that are awful and they like actively ruin like the RP experience for the whole server, which will, is enough to push people off the server. It sucks. Um, it does. It really sucks. Um, and so yeah, that, that part sucks. And so I think that's why I took a lot of breaks just feeling like bad after a lot of streams but then there's you know so many streams where i felt amazing which is what ultimately led me to my addiction you know and rp has been like so yeah it it got worse in 3.0 i didn't i wasn't there for 2.0 but obviously um it got worse in 3.0 because uh because it exploded so so many people so many viewers like like watch rp rp like became mainstream um and then, you know, with that comes all, like, the negativity and all the people who think they, they know the streamers more than the streamers know the streamers. And then people who are mad about every decision and go and criticize them or send DMs to <laughs> the, the, the people who, uh, like, <laughs> the type of people that, like, when Omi or when, like, Omi makes a decision to have Marty be rude to April, the type of person that will DM Omi the streamer and say like go apologize to April okay go apologize to her now she deserves better like the like you know like that kind of stuff um the people who get offended on behalf of their streamers and then go into other people's chats and then it just makes like if you're trying to kill the server that's how you do it you be those type of viewers like if you're just trying to like make everyone quit like that's literally and then what you have nothing to watch or, I don't know what are you trying to accomplish there like I don't get it you're literally like making it so unpleasant for everyone and so that's why you, you'll find people just like they can't deal with it anymore so yeah yeah not even on behalf of the streamer on behalf of a fake character exactly <laughs> like i will voice myself i'm like literally me the streamer i'm laughing at it like you know i'll clarify at the end of a fight that only Mo or marty and april had that like i was laughing about the whole thing you know or just like love the interaction love the fake fighting whatever and then they'll still be like fuming over like how April was treated and go DM the streamer and demand that they apologize. <laughs> and so, and when you see enough of that, it's like, but anyway, I want to focus on the positive. <laughs> There's only positives. And, and, in in the people that I met over the past year, um, and you guys know, I've met so many new people and so many friends and like, it just opened my horizons to like streaming and actually having fun and stuff. I've had so much fun. Like streaming just became like, it just consumed me. And I think that it's very apparent and just like how I've, you guys can just see it, you know, even Eric got, I know and that's why it sucks. It's like in RP, like, like people just can't separate it you know they can't separate it and so it's almost like you you can't have any kind of negative interaction with anyone in rp almost um even if like all sides are having a good time like i think it does help to just clarify as a streamer like by the way like props to the cop in this situation or like props to both sides here everyone's like laughing about it or it really helps to show that you're having fun or that everything is good constantly because if people see like the streamer is like upset in the moment over getting arrested or whatever, then they're like, okay, this cop sucks. 
we're going to, you know, who's this cop going over there? Why are you being so mean to my streamer? Just chill. God, L cop, L cop. You know, it's easy to get upset on behalf of people. Um, and so, yeah, relationship stuff gets really dangerous. Yeah. I mean, I, I cut it for a lot of reasons, but obviously one of them is just like, I saw viewers getting way too invested and it sucks that it has to be that way because relationship RP is so fun. And it has the potential to be so much content, so fun. It's viewers who cannot, who who are ultimately the reason it can't exist. It, it just, I, I delve into, I tried to just give it a full go and it was so much fun in the mi middle of it, but I just never wanted it to be something that people were harassing Rami over ever. And I knew that people would harass Rami over it. So I'm just, I, I'm going to cut it off. Like, I, I don't want to have those thoughts. Like, even if viewers don't bug me about it, if people are like, you know, I just don't want Rami to be dealing with that. So, it, and, and it, it just sucks to see, like, such great RP be thrown out. And, like, to have to limit what is, like, there's just so much that you can do potentially, right? But the second you let the viewers in, some of them will be, like, really great about it. And, like, just, like, enjoy the ride and, like, have so much fun with it. But the toxic viewers who are, like, no, this is how RP is supposed to be done and we don't like this. So we're going to like, you know, go to this chat and this chat and say these horrible things until they stop. You know, um, that sucks. It sucks that um, it would it killed off a lot of good stuff. But um, ultimately, I think we can still keep those fun vibes without like labeling it relationship RP um, so that like those toxic chatters stay away. But like that's ultimately why people don't do uh, relationship RP. Uh, why you see people just stray away from it chat gets way too out of control uh that and like war rp i mean yeah people just th this is ultimately why you'll see a lot of people just stray away from like conflict rp because chat which is like what makes a server what makes things so great stories need conflict right like that's what makes things so interesting if everyone is going around the city going hi I love you hi you're great hi hope have a good day hey do you want this no you can have this bank no you take the dongle no you i insist okay you can have okay tomorrow you can have it no one's con no one's getting mad at each other but like it doesn't make any sense and no one everyone's like wow everyone's so nice and this is so boring and everyone's just friends and everyone's just you know like uh, like no one's gonna complain but also no one's gonna watch so it's like you'll i think that it's that constant back and forth of like what you know the struggle <laughs> like how do you how do you how do you navigate it i think and that's what and then you know streamers will just they'll try they'll try to push it and then they'll push it too far i don't know so it's ranting but you guys understand uh, anyone who's watched enough rp will, will get um will understand what i'm saying um so yeah anyway rp has been great <laughs> But you understand why we take breaks. You understand why we need breaks. Um, um, and and so yeah, and but also why it's so amazing. It's been fantastic. Like it's been really really cool just to 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 experience the world. 